Hello, everybody. My name is Graham Elwood, and you are watching The Political Vigilante. Making Gotham great again. Bringing the truth up from the, from the depths of uh, somewhere underneath Wayne Manor and the outskirts of Gotham comes the truth. Well, obviously last week you heard that Queen Elizabeth, uh, the Queen of England, passed away. She was the queen for 70 years. And a lot of people are like, what's well, sad? And she's been our queen for 70 years. Okay. The Irish, <laughs> the Irish, uh, they didn't lose a lot of sleep over this. And anybody that's been colonized by, she's a colonizer. Let's be honest who she is. But I'll let the mainstream media, you know, they want to praise her. The mainstream media is not going to talk about that. Indie media is going to talk about how she's a colonizer. And you should, the British, the British monarchy and the British empire and you know tony blair these are these are these are colonizers these are warmongers and stuff like that but the thing that no one else is really going to cover boy did she have some ties to our good pal epstein right hmm yeah i'm being a thousand percent sarcastic when i said good pal epstein he is a filthy pedophile who's dead and they murdered him because he was middle management this came out last december this is in the middle of the Jalen maxwell trial Photo shows Jeffrey Epstein, Jalene Maxwell visited Queen Elizabeth II at Balmoral. So what I'm going to show you here, and we look, we've shown you, we've been covering the Epstein case on this show. I, I, there's very few shows that cover this Epstein the way we do. The mainstream media is, hasn't done 5% of the coverage of Epstein th that I have done on this show. And this is why this is the people's channel. Cause all of you keep going, Graham, keep going. Every time I put an Epstein video, you guys are always in the comment section going, keep going, Graham. Don't let go of this. The mainstream media will not talk about it. They just make a quick little announcement. Oh, they found so-and-so guilty. There's a little ticker. Mm, Gene Luke Brunel killed himself. Huh? What? What is that? Well, goodbye. Thank you. Maxwell moved to a low security prison in Florida. Wait, huh? Roe v. Wade. Wait, wait, wait. We're always getting distracted by something. So while everybody's talking about the funeral and the, the secession and all that, okay, I mean, it's a monarchy that really has very little power, but they have all of these ties to Epstein. We've shown you Prince Andrew. We've shown you Prince Andrew time and time again, his, his deliberate ties. But I want to show you the, the queen and the, the royal family in general. But she's been in charge of the royal family for 70 years. Since before Epstein was born, this is a photo that came out in the trial. And this is from the U.S. Attorney's Office in Southern District, New York. So this came out in the Maxwell trial. Epstein and Maxwell pictured at Balmoral in Scotland. This is the Queen's estate, right, up in Scotland. The updated image is thought to have been taken in 1999 when Prince Andrew reportedly invited the couple to stay at the Scottish estate. And to verify, here's a picture at a separate time. Now, apparently the queen was not there when Epstein and Maxwell were there. Okay, that's fair. But come on. This, 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 more of this like, boy, we didn't know is so, it, it's so unbelievable. It is literally not believable when you have a queen who has a security detail and people doing background checks, they know, they know. I'm going to show you more evidence. So here it is. Queen Elizabeth sits with friend at Balmoral Log Cabin, also visited by Jeffrey Epstein and Jalene Maxwell on a separate occasion. So to say that she was there when they were there at the same time is not accurate. That's not accurate. But look, this is the same place, right? And had this been a doctored photo or something like that, the the... the Buckingham Palace would have said, no way, no way, no way, no way. But I showed you that interview that Prince Andrew did back in 2019 that was a joke. And that was Buckingham Palace putting him out there saying, you better clean this mess up. And then that was such an abject failure that he got relieved of royal duties. Relieved of royal duties. And he settled out of court with Virginia Roberts. That's not what innocent people do. If Virginia Roberts was just a crazy lady making all of this up, Buckingham Palace would have crushed her legally because they would have said, like, she doesn't know what she... No, you said a lot of court. She was telling the truth, right? But then, this past March, 
March of 2022. What, five, six months ago? There was an official thing. So he's been relieved of royal duties since 2019. Prince Andrew's appearance with Queen, an insult to humanity, Epstein victims say. Victims of Jeffrey Epstein have responded angrily to Queen Elizabeth appearing in public with Prince Andrew. March 29th, 2022. Britain's Prince Andrew made his first public appearance since settling a rape lawsuit with Virginia Roberts Jufree, a victim of Jeffrey Epstein's trafficking ring, who has also accused the 62-year-old royal of sexual abuse. I remember we went through that, that interview that Prince Andrew did on the BBC where he was like, Oh, I lost my sweat glands in the war. I'd never be caught in London without a dinner jacket. He tried to say that the photo that I'm about to show you that we've seen numerous times didn't, didn't happen. <laughs> so she brought him out. Buckingham Palace, everyone in charge over there said, get this guy out of the public eye. We, he settles out of court, but then she brings him to this official event where she knows there's going to be cameras. The Duke of York escorted his mother, Queen Elizabeth II, to a memorial service for her late husband, Prince Philip, at Westminster Abbey, a high-profile outing. It wasn't like some paparazzi snuck over a wall and saw them you know, taking a walk in a park on one of the... No, no, a public outing. The royals do all of this public outing, all of these... It's all pomp and pageantry with them, right? That's the whole royal family. That's what that monarchy, that's what all monarchies, but especially the British royal family, that's what they're known for. These big ceremonies and honoring this and honoring that and the queen comes out. So she knew exactly what she was doing. A high profile outing that royal family observers viewed as a defiant display of support for her disgraced second son. So you have this evidence again in the interview he's like trying to say i don't even know if that's my hand there's maxwell this is a child that was trafficked out of mar-a-lago for all of you q and honored ding-dongs that think trump had nothing to do with this friends with them friends with them there's jaleen maxwell just convicted of 20 years r kelly got 30 white lady gets 20 None of the names have been released, and now she's serving time in a minimum security prison in Florida. Hmm. The queen bringing him out, to me, is more of the royals and just everyone in power going, yeah, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Oh, this is just one photo, Graham. You don't know. There's no other ties to the royal family. Oh, wait, Sorry. Here's another official, uh, Andrew and Epstein at Royal Ascot in 2000. Epstein, Maxwell, I'm going to show you a clear picture of that right now. Prince Andrew, 2000. There she is again. Maxwell, Prince Andrew, some other stiff British mope. Epstein, Maxwell, Prince Andrew. I'm sorry, that's not her. That's Maxwell in the green. There's Epstein, Maxwell in the green. Maxwell in the green. There's Maxwell. We know that's her. That's Prince Andrew. British royal family's ties to pedophile Jimmy Seville exposed in places irregular. Let's cover this now. For, for Real quick. So when we talk about the royal family, so they had a lot of access to the royal family. Epstein and Maxwell. They stayed at the Queens in Balmoral in 99. This is at some of a formal royal event in 2000, right? We also know Maxwell and Epstein were invited to Clinton's White House in the 90s. We're going to get into all the American royals that they know as well, including Trump. But let's get back to this. So there's a documentary that just came out recently on Netflix about Jimmy Seville. For those of you who don't know, he was like a TV star and a DJ in Britain, in Britain, in England, uh, hugely famous. You're like Howard Stern, like hugely famous, but he 
it came out when he died after he died, I believe in 2011, it came out that he was a, a, a horrific pedophile and Netflix made this documentary and showed all these ties to Jimmy Seville. So it's not just like, Oh, one off. We didn't know about Epstein. Oh, Prince Andrew, you know, just was friends with the wrong people. That crazy Virginia Roberts is that there's just too much evidence. There's too much. This is, and you can say, oh, it's, it's not circumstantial when it keeps lining up like this. And, and if you saw my interview with retired child crimes detective, Eric Oldenburg, he said, Graham, there's always a ring. There's always more people in the pedophile world and the child exploitation, you know, uh, photo and video world. They share that. There's never just one person. They find other people that are into their creepy, horrific bullshit. He goes, so I would investigate. Imagine if you just, and he, and he said this, he goes, I, he goes, if I was the lead investigator in the Maxwell case, we would be, all of these people would be arrested. And I mean, the, the, why hasn't he been extradited to the United States for questioning? So we're going to murder Julian Assange in prison, basically. So Julian Assange is, is a threat to America, but this guy isn't. He's not even brought in for questioning. We're all running around crying over Queen Elizabeth's dead. She's protecting this pedophile son of hers. But this ties to pedophiles is nothing new. Again, let's go to Jimmy Seville. I know it's a lot to unpack, guys. I know every time we do these Epstein videos, it sounds like I'm drawing all these crazy, but there's too much. This is evidence. This is, I didn't make the Netflix movie. Netflix did. In that Netflix documentary, and I suggest you watch it, Jimmy Seville has all these ties to the royal family. So a known pedophile has ties to the royal family in Jimmy Seville. And Epstein has known ties to the royal family. And a royal family member, Prince Andrew, settles out of court with an Epstein survivor. This is all, I'm just a crazy conspiracy guy. I'm a tinfoil hat nutbag. Really? This evidence is there. Um. This is something, and what is in that documentary, and there's also Seville's, he abused a bunch of children and women, and he had access to all of these powerful people. In it, he writes about getting repeated access to Buckingham Palace and all, you know, all of the royal buildings and big events to get invited to these events. This is a big, you don't just get to go to this. This isn't just some party where that you can crash. This is a big deal. That's what I'm saying. Like the Maxwell and Epstein are at this Royal family thing and they're at the Clinton white house. I'm sorry. And the Clintons were on, Bill was on 26 times. Hillary was on tw two times on Epstein's plane. Flight logs show this. Prince Andrew was on Epstein's plane. Flight logs show this. These are FAA flight logs. I'm not a lunatic. This is what they try to do though. When you have hard physical evidence, like flight logs, like photos, like eyewitness accounts, like people like Virginia Roberts, Jufree, right? They try to make you seem like you're just as, like, I'm as crazy as the Alex Jones who thinks there's aliens running the planet. Like that's crazy. You have no hard evidence, aliens and flat earth. They try to lump that all in together. From a criminal investigation standpoint, there's no evidence to investigate anybody for alien, lizard, blah, blah, blah. There's no, there's no evidence. There's evidence. This, this is a criminal investigation that they want swept under the rug. Well, Epstein's dead. We got Jalene Maxwell in jail. It's all good. We're good. Andrew settled out of court. We're good. It's all good. No more powerful people. Well, that's not true. That's not what Jimmy Seville said. So they, in, in the documentary and in his, his like journals, this is what Seville said. Seville wrote, because I got into St. James Palace and Buckingham Palace on a regular basis, one thing is becoming quite obvious. There is a strong movement now towards some members of the family and their staff towards an dot, dot, dot attitude. Now that letter on its own written by a regular person who just got access, you wouldn't think anything of it, but a notorious pedophile and a, a predator, an abuser who got in 
who was protected by all of these powerful people and all of Jimmy Seville's horrific crimes of rape and molesting children, none of them were revealed till after he died. Because if you arrest him when he's alive, you know what he does? Well, you want to arrest me? I'm going to name all these people. So it's become clear here that like Maxwell has made a deal with the ruling elites, the pedophiles that she's protecting. She's like, I won't reveal any names, but you better, if you Epstein me, if I hang myself with a paper t-shirt, I'm going to release all this information and you, you can't stop me. So they said, look, someone's got to go to jail. Slap 20 years. Oh, that's so bad. Now she's in a country club prison and shit. She could be sitting on a yacht right now. We don't even know it, but there's even more. There's even more. Jimmy Seville was regularly contacted for counsel by Prince Charles, who's now King Charles. Secret letters sent from Prince Charles to Jimmy Seville begging pedophilia DJ to, quote, use his straightforward common sense to help the royals with PR and speech writing spanning 20 years are revealed in bombshell Netflix documentary. Prince Charles requested Jimmy Seville's help in smoothing out Royal family's image after a series of blunders. Heir to the throne said that Seville's common sense could help Sarah, Duchess of York and Prince Andrew. Hey, Sarah, Duchess of York, maybe you want to speak up. Maybe she doesn't speak up. They're in the, in the conspiracy world, and I don't have any evidence to suggest this. So this is literally just an opinion or a theory. Some people theorize Princeton Diana started to uncover this, was going to go public with it. That's why she passed. That's why she had the car accident. I don't know any evidence. I have no physical, I don't know any evidence to suggest that at all. Some say Prince, what is it? Harry? Forget, I forget William or Harry, which one? The younger one, the redhead one. He left the royal family with his wife, who's the actress, the American actress, so they could live in California, renounced his royal duties. Now, maybe he just doesn't want to be part of the royal family because there's just too much pressure and there's cameras crawling up your ass and you don't want to be king because it sounds like it sucks. And he saw just his mom was harassed by the paparazzi and they harassed her so much that she got into a car accident and died. It could all just be that. Again, I don't have any physical evidence and I like dealing in physical evidence. But I'm just asking this question because against all of this physical evidence, it sounds like there's a, there's a bigger conspiracy here of the British royal family, A, having a pedophile as a, at least one member of it, the family being a pedophile and Prince Andrew. There's strong evidence to suggest he's a pedophile. And that they have this kind of power. So again, there's Donald Trump meeting with Prince Andrew in June of 2019. After Epstein got arrested, Trump said, oh, I never, I don't remember ever meeting the guy. And Trumpy QAnoners tried to tried to make this like, oh, this is just official duties. Sorry. He's just as guilty as the Clintons. This is why it is so critical for you to understand how corrupt both political parties are in America and how all of the ruling elites are evil. And if you think this guy's your hero or Joe Biden or Obama's your hero, you are deluding yourself. You're deluding yourself. But this is American royalty. What else? Who else are the royals in America? Big corporate business owners. There's Epstein. There's Bill Gates. There's former treasury secretary, Larry Summers. There's, uh, former CEO of Barclays, a British bank, and J.P. Morgan Chase, J Jess Staley, and Boris Nikolic, who was uh, CFO of the, of the um, chief financial officer of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. You remember Melinda Gates, who did an interview last year saying the reason she's filing for divorce against Bill is because of his ties to Epstein? So we're just going to forget all this? was the executor of Epstein's will. Money? 
power. Here's another royal wedding, politics. There's Chelsea Clinton with former President Bill Clinton. This is in 2011. There's Jalene Maxwell. 2011 is two years after she settled out of court with Virginia Roberts. She said in 2009, when Epstein was arrested the first time, she settled out of court and then gets invited to this. In essence, this, this is American royalty. This is a royal wedding, correct? Hillary Clinton was a sitting secretary of state in 2011. So there is extensive background checks to come to something like this. And the Clintons invited them to their White House when he was, in, when he was president and Hillary was first lady. So now when Hillary is secretary of state under Obama, she's invited here again. I find this hard to believe. Oh, look, there's Epstein and Maxwell hanging out with Trump. Here's all the times Trump and look at all this. There's Naomi Campbell, Maxwell, Maxwell, some creepy, filthy pedophile wig. Look at these. Look at this. Trump Maxwell, Trump Epstein, Trump Maxwell, <laughs> Trump Epstein, Trump Maxwell, Trump Maxwell. And she's been, Naomi Campbell's been named. She's on flight logs. She's participated. Why isn't she being arrested? What billionaire is she sleeping with right now? And hey, look, golf buddies, Bill and Donald Trump, they're all pals with uh, Bloomberg. And we know he's a creep pedophile. There's video footage of him like with some 15-year-old girl in a hotel room. The two former mayors of New York, you know, Epstein hung himself with a paper t-shirt at a prison in New York. Weird. They're all pals. So I'm sorry, I don't shed a tear for Queen Elizabeth. I don't shed a tear for the royal family. In addition to all their colonizing and awful treatment of people in, in India and, and around the world and the way they treat the Irish, have treated the Irish. Some English journalist or Irish journalist wrote in the Irish Daily News that being neighbors with the Brits is like being having a neighbor that's really crazy obsessed with clowns and they have clown decorations all over their house and everything. Oh, and by the way, uh, a clown murdered your grandfather. That's, but they're worse than that folks. There's too much evidence. Why isn't Prince Andrew, why isn't he being extradited to the United States to stand trial? How come no other names have come out? So Julian Assange, the only, thing he did, and it's not a crime, but in the eyes of the United States, him just uh, taking information that was given to him and publishing it, that's a crime worse than having sex with children and traffic them around the world to wealthy, powerful people. Julian Assange just being a publisher gets him put in Belmarsh prison. He's in isolation. He's, his health is deteriorating. His mental health is deteriorating. He can't be around his kids. They want to extradite him to the United States. But Prince Andrew, he gets to dress up and go to royal events. There's one other person I wanted to show here. I forgot to show you this. This was on Twitter. There was one, uh, there was one hero. This is at Queen Elizabeth's funeral procession in London. I think oh God. God. Oh, <laughs> Disgusting! Oh, yeah, wrong. Let me show you this. This kid heckled Prince Andrew as the Queen's. Uh, I wanted to show you this. Sorry, that's not the right. I wanted to show you this one, and then there's this one. Oh, 
So, and just in case you're wondering what happened there, um, what just happened was this young guy at the, at, when Prince Andrew was walking at the funeral procession, started saying, you're a disgusting old man calling Prince Andrew the pedophile that he is. And then crazy cult member, Royal Brit citizens who revere this crazy cult. They're just, it's a cult to revere the queen and the monarchy is a cult, just like America, like the Trump supporters or the Clinton supporters, like God, America, yay, yay, truth, justice, God save the queen. They all started chanting, uh, God save the queen. And then the cops threw them out of there. That's what you just saw. That just happened like in the last day. So that's why we're covering it on this show. Cause mainstream media is not going to show you that clip. That guy yelling that they're not going to show you all these. I've just tied Epstein and Jimmy Seville using other people's evidence and research. So this is the Royal family. And then I, of course, as I've shown you numerous times, Trump and the Clintons and other very powerful people, Hollywood. I don't make up flight logs. They literally got mad at that kid. They're like blaming the messenger. They're blaming the messenger. Unreal. Unreal. So the Brits at that parade, you're okay with a pedophile walking. You're okay with that. And the, the kid calling the pedophile out, he's the problem. You're the problem. You're drunk and delusional. If you think there isn't severe ties to the Royal family. So then you're either a pedophile yourself. If you're mad at that kid that yelled that out, or you're at the very least delusional and you're protecting a pedophile. This is the crazy thing. This is like what the Penn State fans do with Joe Paterno. You can't be in positions of power and be like, I didn't know. Bullshit. The queen knew. Prince Charles knows. They're all in on it. They're all guilty. Follow the money, connect the dots, and get the truth. Or defend pedophiles. So I guess British children aren't safe either. Shave your knuckles for justice. Find me another show. Find me the mainstream media that's talking about this the way I am. Find them. I don't see them. There's me. There's one. There's this guy, the vigilante, making Gotham great again. Boom. Boom.